If you're trying to create the ultimate onboarding experience for your clients to reduce churn, you're going to want to watch the next couple minutes of this video. What I have pulled up here is a couple tools from DHL plugins. As you can see, the first time that somebody logs in, they get a checklist of this is your onboarding list of things that you want them to do. Now, one of the things that we actually invented is routing. Let's say, for example, you want somebody to say, get the mobile app. They're just going to go through and check this list. It's going to take them directly to that part of the sub account, and it's going to show them how to install the mobile app. Now, you can customize these, each of these settings, as well as each of the directions inside of the admin of the tool itself. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But you notice down here, I've completed 13 of the steps. Now, for your agency, being able to track what step each client is on in the onboarding process is critical. What this tool actually does also is the ability to be able to tag and create a task using our task management system here. If I go to this tab, I can take a look at our onboarding, our onboarding task. This has all of the steps um, in our onboarding. As you can see here, Jason Rule has completed the view conversations. That's Jason Rule's onboarding. Now, if I open up this task, I can see when it was created and when it was due. And that way nobody's stuck in here for more than 24 hours. You can create automation if you have a user that's stuck in there. Now if I go here to click on the contact details, it's gonna pull up the contact itself and you'll see that all of the tags that were applied when I clicked each one of those steps are gonna be applied to my contact here. So if I scroll down, there we go. Each of the steps, these tags, match the onboarding checklist that we have here and they also match the task manager that we have here now this tool allows me to be able to communicate internally with my staff to say hey jason's been stuck in this process for too long get with him okay now one other thing that we're going to find here is if we go back to this i'm going to close out this task manager is we have a home page and most of the time what i encourage people to do is we actually have a script that you can put this to the top now one of the things that we've done is account setup. Now this routes directly to the custom values form. Now if we go to this sub account, you're going to see that there are no custom values. Well, we've got a couple of them filled out. Custom values are created when the account is filled out. Let's go ahead and close that out, but only two have values. If I go over here and change this, you'll be able to see quickly none have values. Now using our custom values form you're actually able to add this custom menu link route people directly to it using the custom onboarding engine and tool as well as the custom launch pad take them directly to this area now when i click this i'm going to click let's search for this i'm going to go ahead and save what this is doing is this is updating the defaults of 100 custom values at a time that i set as the agency and now if i come back here custom values i'm going to search for Menu bottom button, you can see here, menu button, schedule a call. And that was updated when I just clicked that right there. The home page is nice because you can route people directly to it. Another thing that we've connected to this is internal docs. This basically replaces Google Docs internally. It's a white label tool that we've created. For example, you can make a bunch of SOPs, you can add them to all of your new sub accounts, and then the user can click on it and they can view it. Uh, you can embed uh, links for videos and links to other outside websites. That's just an example of using the home page, the onboarding tool, as well as the custom values to simplify and create one seamless process for onboarding that allows you to be able to have visibility to where they are in their stages. And if, for example, the client ever wants to open up the onboarding tool again because they're not sure, hey, how did I add a team member? They can click here. And it's going to take them to this and then it's going to route them directly to it and then it's going to show them a quick video or a quick instruction on how to do that hopefully this helps you guys thanks for taking the time